Uh, where they're dealing with very dry conditions. We've been in a stormier pattern of late. You know, Friday and Saturday we had those rains come in. We had a late evening chance for showers and storms. And today we have another weather impact day in the works. The chance that some of those storms that develop later on this afternoon, even though not everyone's going to get rain today, uh, we could see a few strong storms developing. Temps are certainly up. You may have noticed the increase in humidity uh, day by day, going back to some very dry days we had late last week. Two points have gotten into the 60s and once you get into the low to mid 60s is where people start to feel more uncomfortable, especially in the afternoons when temperatures are starting to spike. That's also the higher moisture content in the air is fuel for storms to develop. And so we're talking about much of the eastern seaboard in a kind of a moisture rich environment. You can see the rains that are moving through our nation's capital. Uh, main weather impact area here locally will be over the eastern part of the Piedmont Triad. You can see that line of showers and storms already moving into areas uh, that are going to support uh, at least some decent storms today. Uh, the first few raindrops should fall late morning and it'll be for our western counties. We've got a few sprinkles around now. Uh, storms will likely stay below severe limits for a while and then will have at least a small risk for them to pick up as they start to track out of the foothills in the Piedmont Triad. Uh, not much going on at the moment. There are a few areas of rain beginning to, to try to develop. We had one over Alamance County a short time ago and over Yakin County a few blips on the radar. Um, Heavy rain and lightning will be the, the primary threats today. We have a moderate risk, though, that we could see uh, damaging winds and large hail from some of the stronger storms that develop. Uh, we could see tornadoes across the East Coast. I don't think our localized area needs to worry about that all that much today, but it's something we always need to monitor whenever we have that kind of elevated risk coming in. I think our window starts to develop early in the afternoon for the Piedmont Triad around 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon, with the main window being between about 3 and 6 p.m. Uh, should taper after that. Southwest winds at 10 to 20. Like yesterday, we'll take temperatures back in the lower 80s this afternoon. We'll be close to that in the foothills before the rain begins. Thunder and lightning a possibility. It will start to bring in a chance for uh, storms around midday, peaking through about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Should move east of you by that point. Could start as early as this morning in the mountains with a few thunderstorms. We'll be in the 60s and lower 70s at that point. Um, so again, storms aren't going to hit everybody. The chance for the day is about 40%. We're drier and more comfortable on Tuesday. We really start to crank up the heat later on this week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're expecting our first 90s of the year. Could see 93 degrees by Friday.